Harry and Meghan cry in misery after Oprah Winfrey's secret six-word warning to them on Royal Row. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been reminded of advice from Oprah Winfrey amid Royal Rows. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down from full-time royal duties in March 2020, and spoke about the firm in an interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021. The bombshell tell all saw Meghan detail her suicidal thoughts as a royal, and Harry speak about his strained relationship with Prince William and Prince Charles. Danielle Welser, royal commentator, referenced the 2021 interview in an article, where she noted Harry's legal battle with the Home Office over police protection in the UK. The expert referenced advice Ms Winfrey gave the pair in their sit-down tell-all, and said in the New Zealand Herald, Harry is currently forging a life of his very own making, one built on his hopes and aspirations and is raising his family with Meghan far away from the hoopla and rules of royalty and he has given up so much to have the freedom to do all of this. Choose happiness. Choose joy. Choose to look forward and not eternally back. Or as the Sussex's neighbour and friend Oprah Winfrey has said you are responsible for your life, life is really about moving on. Meghan and Harry lost their taxpayer-funded police protection after stepping down from royal life in 2020. Since then, the couple have relied upon a private security team in the US but the couple's legal representatives argue this team does not have adequate jurisdiction abroad or access to UK intelligence information which is needed to keep the Sussex family safe. Harry has argued that he cannot ensure the protection of Meghan and their two children Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana without the Met Police because of their access to UK intelligence. Harry's legal team appeared in court on July 7 to claim his significant tensions with royals influenced the Home Office's decision to strip him off his security. During the CBS interview with Ms Winfrey, Harry said Charles stopped answering his phone calls before he stepped down from the royal family. He told Ms Winfrey, When we were in Canada, I had three conversations with my grandmother and two conversations with my father before he stopped taking my calls. Meghan also said increased scrutiny after marrying Harry damaged her mental health, with the Duchess saying she began to have real and frightening thoughts that she didn't want to be alive anymore. She said, I went to one of the most senior people to get help. And I share this because there are so many people who are afraid to voice that they need help, and I know how hard it is to not just voice it but to be told no. Human Resources said, my heart goes out to you because I see how bad it is, but there's nothing we can do to protect you because you're not a paid employee of the institution. This wasn't a choice, this was emails and begging for help saying very specifically, I am concerned for my mental welfare. Palace aides are running scared of the Sussexes causing another world of pain and playing the victim in a second bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview, an expert has speculated and the fears could be behind the palace's decision to withhold a report into alleged bullying of staff by Meghan Markle. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle shocked the world with their revelations they shared with the iconic US host in March 2021. During the two-hour tell-all interview Meghan claimed there were concerns over the color of their son Archie's skin, adding she had suicidal thoughts during her time in the UK. Attitudes have since cooled with the couple returning to the UK earlier last month for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, meeting privately with the monarch so she could meet granddaughter Lilibet. However behind the scenes royal aides are concerned the California-based couple could return to Oprah's sprawling £80 million mansion for a damaging second interview, says Duncan Larkham, former royal editor and author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story and author of Prince